Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Uh, just a short video on calibrating this uh, Velleman uh, HPS 10, uh, whatever it is. I can't remember the exact model number now. As you can see here, uh, I'll just zoom a little bit. Sorry, there's a bit of a glare there. It's showing 4.57 volts, but um, yeah, it's actually just over 5, actually. It's about 5.4 or something on the power supply here. Um, so this does need calibrating. I suspect it as much because the things I've been testing on, it's you know, it seems to be well out, you know. I measure a 5 volts, you know, exact 5 volts supply and it comes back 3.7 or something like that, so yeah, it's out. So in order to calibrate this, you've got to hold down the setup button to go into the menu. You go down to version, you select version I think, uh, yeah. Then you hold long setup, that should go into the version information. Then you press the power button, uh, uh, yeah, I'll see if there's moving shots so you can just see this down here. Press the power button then every other button apart from right on the uh, direction pad. Uh, and then we're into the calibration screen there. Sorry, yeah, awful glare, but you can see there it says, you can see it's asking for an adjustment there for RV1, so that's one of the trimmers I think inside, uh, but it's, a set, it's showing a pass at the moment, so I think as you adjust it, the little line will move a little bit stuff, and as you press right, you go through the different uh, steps here. This is step two, adjust CV1, uh, apply two kilohertz square wave. Uh, so, as, you know, you just apply what it says down here and you do the adjustment. So, like, as I'm going along, let's uh, another two kilohertz input. Uh, this one, this is the one I'm interested in. Um, adjust RV3, apply 170 millivolts DC. So, that's the point I'm at. So one problem I've got, I need to output 170 millivolts DC. Uh, this power supply, the, even with a fine adjust, I just can't get it at all. I've, I've, you know, I've got it to 160 millivolts, then just move the, the, the trimmer, the fine trimmer pot here, just turn a little bit, and it goes up to 190 or 200, and you be back down again, it's back to 160. It's like impossible to get it to 170. It's just, you know, it's just not fine enough. So what I've done here, as you can see, uh, I've got 100K pots uh, and the ground, uh, Five, well, not five volts, so probably less than a volt actually coming in there. Um, and just using this pot, as I'll show you, I've been able to just tweak this. Can you see that? 169. So I'll just give it a tiny little nudge in the wrong direction, I think. Hang on. It's still going the wrong way. Hang on. Yeah, you can see I can adjust it much easier. Hang on. Having said that, Yeah, I think there's a, it's a bit dirty this pot, it's not been used in a long time, but as you can see, just, it's a bit easier, it's still, there you go, it's very fine, uh, very fiddly, you know, to adjust it right, but I can just measure, uh, stick my, my, my scope probe across those pins now, and I should have the 170 millivolts that I need. So, sorry for the glare, if I apply the probe now to that output, you'll see it comes up with 171 millivolts, and it says pass, so that's that one done. Move to the next test. I'm still got it on there. It still says apply 120, 170 millivolts DC. It says 154 millivolts. Oh, not okay. Just RV2. So I think this is where the the inaccuracy is for. And you can hear a relay click actually just inside. You know, a really small relay when you change modes there. So on this particular sensitivity range, or whatever, where that relay is being used to switch inside, it's uh, yeah, it's measuring 154 millivolts when it should be measuring 170. Um, and I'm still showing, let me just check on my voltage, uh, yeah, on my DC multimeter, I'm still showing uh, 170, let's see if I can show you that, uh, you can see it is 170 millivolts. So, I need to just pull the back off now and adjust RV2. So it's going to be challenging trying to do this actually, uh, <clears throat> you know, the battery compartment obviously can sit off the side of it, you know, while you do the adjustment, but obviously you need to be looking around the front of the thing at the same time as doing the adjustment there. So I can perhaps, you know, do it front ways on like that and just hold the screwdriver from behind in the right place and just tweak it one way or the other. Uh, and the pot that I'm interested in, if I just zoom in, uh, yeah, hopefully that's not too close. I've got RV4 here, uh, RV3, um, can't see what that one is. Oh, that's RV1, I think. That's RV2. It's marked gain, but just above it, uh, under that uh, thing there, like the relay, I think it is. Uh, it says RV2. Yeah, so it's the gain I need to adjust. Um, 
It's interesting it needs this adjustment, but then again, it, it might not have been used well, it hasn't been used for a very long time. Uh, the caps look all right on here. I can't see any other problems that would cause it to go out of calibration, really. Um, it could be that Ali went in here at some point and for some reason altered the gain. Um, she might not have been aware of the, t the, t the service menu there in order to be able to recalibrate it properly. I don't know, or it could be she deliberately altered the gain to change some of the you know the, the the measurement characteristics there so she could i don't know measure um a slightly smaller voltage or something or something like that i've no idea so did the smallest adjustment there to that rv2 and you can see it's now showing 170 uh, millivolts uh, the meter's just a tiny 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 touch of uh, above but yeah it's uh, a lot more uh, accurate than it was sorry that glare's awful um yeah so that particular test has passed so we'll click the next button uh, yeah, apply 170 millivolts, that's passing. So just to show you this is actually working now after calibration, uh, a lot better than it was because it was the voltages were just all over the place. Uh, got an AA uh, battery here as you can see, uh, let's get the probe and tip there, let's get the second, you can see 1.323 volts, that's pretty close to what it actually measures on my digital multimeter and I've got a 9 volt PP3 here. Uh, do the same thing with this. It should be about 8.4 or something like that. Yeah, they got 8.7, 8.7 7 volts. Yeah, it's just, just. I think it measures nine actually on my multimeter, so it's not far off. Uh, and I found the same thing just checking some uh, TTL level outputs actually um, on a, a couple of chips I got on a breadboard. Um, so it's working fine. Anyway, I thought you'd find it interesting. Thanks for watching. See you soon.